up. Big Bull Road SSD modified, so we'll see how that plays out. Lewis there, track, got a couple uh, wins here already. They're starting to double it up. We are about to get busy here at the Blacktop Bull Ring. You see the double zero of Toad Bradshaw. Had a little problem with the fuel pickup earlier. So Bradshaw is opting to go to the tail of the field to uh, avoid creating an issue here with the rest of the guys. So white flags out, so we are going racing next time off of turn four. Here we go now, Sherwood is going to lead them down with Timmy Lewis closely on his outside as they come down into turn number three. The young Steve Sherwood is going to kick off the Mighty Modifieds in 2018 and here we go, green flag in the air, they are down and away and Timmy Lewis played it perfectly. Lewis takes the lead on the outside early. Lewis on the outside, everybody's got the help of Hanbury, Hanbury shoving through the outside there and don't count out, here comes the 11 there. Alaco. Of Alaco there, Alaco with the nine backwards in turns one and two. May have got a little bit of help. I'm not quite sure. Didn't quite see that one happen. Lewis, Timmy Lewis has the decision to make when and where he wants to go, but he will have that 42 on his inside and green flag in the air. They're down and away and Hanbury got into him a little bit. Hanbury wants the lead and Hanbury will take the lead into one. Hanbury kind of nerfing off there, but he's taking uh, Nap with him there. So Nap's up into the number two spot. Here comes Bookmiller. Bookmiller in the number 40 machine. Here's 40. Oh, looking for the number three spot there. Trying to make those. Oh, we got him backwards here. We got Mickelson backwards on the front straightaway. And everybody, I don't believe, other than Mickelson losing the handle on the 68, I don't think there was a whole lot of damage. Maybe Majak with the uh, 14 on the back straightaway coming to a stop or coming slowing down. It'll start off with Tony Hanbury, Rick Knapp on his outside, Timmy Lewis in third, Al Bookmiller in fourth, and rounding out your top five will be the number four of Steve Fuchs. So they bring him down the back stretch one last time. Hanbury leads him down. It's up to him one to go, and he goes. Now, green flag in the air, they're down and away, and they are flying to the flag stand as the good jump on the outside from Rick Knapp. Ricky Knapp is giving her Hanbury all he can handle right now as they're going for that top spot. Give Rick Knapp the lead. Knapp's got the car almost ahead there, sailing it deep into turns three and four. Off the turn four there, Knapp's got the lead there. Hanbury's gonna go to two. Look at the green is catching Sharky now. John Barber has been tearing his way through this field. He wants to find his way back to the front here and he goes to the outside. Sharky, Sharky gets up into him a little bit. Sharky goes around. That should draw the caution. He's in a bad place and caution will fly for Sharky. And Dan, that was just a case of Sharky went up high and there was a car there. Put the pedal on the floor, bring it off a turn four. Let's go racing one more time. Green flag in the air, and Hanbury absolutely beat him at the gun there. So Hanbury takes the lead, but not for long, because here comes the 11 trying to hang tight. Nope, he will take the lead. Now the battle is for second. Oh, car in the wall. I think that's Noe. Gary Noe in the wall, cautions out, so maybe they didn't fix it as good as they thought, because that looks like something happened there to the right front of that car. Ricky Knapp is the leader. He takes the inside line, and he is going to decide when they go, and maybe that's good news for him because he's open for a little bit better jump this time around as he comes around that low side, and they're going to go way early, and green flag in the air. They are down and away, and better jump for Rick Knapp this time. Knapp this time, wheel to wheel with Hanbury. Turns one and two there. We'll see how it plays out down the back straightaway. Hanbury really got the power down and uh, started leaving, uh, put a little bit of space between, but then they didn't go on that contact. Hanbury definitely uh, blew the horn back coming through. So 
Come back through all those cars already. I have no idea. But up front, Rick Knapp is making a statement right now. He is driving away from Tony Hanbury. Meanwhile, we have a battle with John Barber. Oh, Bradshaw into the outside wall. Is he going to be able to hang on to it? He will. Pro Bradshaw making contact with that outside wall a little bit. Now the battle's on for second. TJ Petrobowski looking on the low side. He is trying to find a way around Tony Hanbury. Hanbury and Bradshaw, not Bradshaw, Petrobowski going at it very well here for the second position, but Hanbury's just playing too good of defense. No way around for Petrobowski. Petrobowski looking for racing room there. Him and Hanbury, lots and lots of laps racing together. They know each other's highs and lows as they come on the lap traffic here. At the 35 there of Tommy Weiss. Weiss running the middle of the racetrack. And they to the low left here. Yeah. And they're Nap is sitting there, Nap still holding down the lead there, and you've got Hanbury still running second, but the gap is closing. Spencer Boss is setting right on his tire track, and it looks like the maybe the uh, 35 there going to lap down, but we've got one slow. It looks like the 27, possibly maybe the Dick Kluth ride. So Kluth there slowing down here and not getting on infield far enough, so I believe that might be the 27 Dick Kluth. That is Dick Kluth. Caution flag will fly once again here, fourth of the evening. Rick Knapp won his first feature race of the Blacktop Bowl Ring in a, one, in a long time here last year as Tommy Alakos returning to the speedway now, and green flag in the air there, down and away, and it's going to be a side-by-side -side battle with Tommy Alakos right there. Alakos getting sent out there just ahead of the leaders there, and Hanbury big time loose off a of two. That'll leave the door wide open here, and Napper will take full advantage of it. Now they'll go all low here, they'll go underneath the locking machine. Hanbury hung to the outside, and that gave Petrovowski the opportunity he needed. Petrovowski up to the number two spot. Rocco there again, just uh, let off the wrong time. Oh, and Bookmiller gets into Hanbury. Hanbury does the 360, and I don't believe we got a whole lot. Here off of turn four. We have Sherwood, Sharkey, Michelson. I believe that's Fuchs maybe. No, Fuchs is in second. And that is just what we're going to get. If you look up in the sky, you'll see what looks like a full moon almost covered by them clouds. But don't tell the drivers that as we get ready to go. It's all up to Ricky Knapp, and he goes now. Green flag in the air. We are down and away. And then Ricky Knapp, the lead right away. On the outside, though, TJ Petrobowski is fighting back. They are going at it for the first position side by side. Petrobowski on the high side doing a phenomenal job right now. And it's TJ Petrobowski in the top spot where Ricky Knapp is refusing to quit. We have a car in the grass. It is Steve Sherwood, but that does not appear to be an issue. He gets it back going up front. They are going at it door to door, muscle to muscle. Ricky Knapp versus TJ Petrobowski. It's about who wants it more right now. And nobody wants it more than TJ Petrobowski. Although Ricky Knapp is just not quitting on him, but Petrobowski is able to clear him down the back new leader is T.J. Petrobowski, but here comes Al Bookmiller with a head of speed. Double foul, halfway down, halfway to go. Toad back, Bradshaw is moving himself to fifth. He's looking for fourth. And Sherwood slowing on the back straightaway with the 95 there. That might draw the yellow as he runs high off of turn three and four. We'll see if he can get it to the infield. Oh, we'll see he picked it back up. Maybe he just uh, popped out of gear or he uh, let the fast cars go. But uh, leader here, Petrobowski, then it's uh, Knapp, Bookmiller, and the race is out here. Oh, we got somebody, Barber possibly, maybe it was uh, Hanbury into the outside wall. Barber and Hanbury have came together through this field, and oh, they get into Fuchs, and what a shame for Steve Fuchs. 
everyone's going to miss him. But my, oh my, he's having a heck of a night, Dan, and that just seems like his luck lately. Stretching the turn three, getting ready for what could be the penultimate restart in this race. It is all in the hands of Petrobowski, and the Piranha goes now. Green flag in the air, and he knew what he was doing, Dan. He let Nap get a little wheel ahead there, and then when, late, when uh, Nap let up, Petrobowski hammered it there, and that's all it took there for Petrobowski to take over the lead. Knapp falling second there, and Bookmiller having a super ride here in that number three spot there. Now you got Hanbury working at the inside of Barber, or excuse me, Bradshaw, getting the job done there. Now Noe, after uh, big time problems all night long, Noe now, he's got his car up there. He wants to do a battle with Bradshaw. Bradshaw rounds out your top five. Barber takes a look to the bottom side there on Noe, can't make it stick. It's still Piranha out front there, Petrobowski. Then it's Knapp, Bookmiller, Hanbury, and Bradshaw. We have John Barber making the move here. He's going to have a low that fourth and sixth position. Outside of space, it's all that number zero is going to Bradshaw. Low number three, it's TJ Petrobowski is still out front. And he is all the way close. Absolutely there, Piranha starting to stretch a little bit of a lead out over Knapp. Knapp comfortably in the number two spot there. Everybody, three, four car length difference here all the way back to the fifth and sixth place. And Barber now starting to close the gap on Bradshaw. Barber wants that top five position here. We'll see how it works out here as Bradshaw runs his line and Bradshaw just barely scruffs the outside wall. I don't think there was any damage. I think it was a nerf bar there. Barber working the bottom side there. Bar, bar. Bradshaw on the top side. Bradshaw passes it off a little bit easy there. Barber takes over the number five spot. Bradshaw falls to six. But still out front it is Petrobowski. Barber's run very aggressive tonight. And the lap in the books now. Malago now towards the rear. It is going to be Timmy Lewis. Petrobowski there pretty much got it on cruise control right now. Saw the five to go, looked in the mirror, saw he's got about a four or five car length advantage over Knapp, and then it's a handful of car lengths, and sparks underneath the Book Miller machine going into one. Not quite sure what that means. Might be an issue, might not. We'll keep an eye on it here. Two laps to go, two to go for the modifieds. Two laps to go, the blacktop boring, and things are starting to get a little bit more heated up. TJ Petronowski left, Jen Denny, Ricky Knapp is making one last run for glory. One lap to go, Petronowski and he gets a good run off the corner. He heads down the back stretch one last time, one last set of courts to negotiate between victory lane, and TJ Petronowski wins on opening day. Second will be Ricky Knapp, third elbow. Fifth will be John Barber, who was closing hard. Sixth will be that number double zero of Toad Bradshaw. Seventh will be Gary Noe. Eighth will be Steve Fuchs. Ninth will be Timmy Lewis. Tenth, Cassie Logston. Eleventh, Steve Sherwood. Well, he's out of the car. We can hear you now by TJ Petrobowski. Geez, I feel pretty good. I wear glasses there, and I see you got all glasses. I'm like, oh, man, we're getting old. <laughs> we are getting old. <laughs> but it's still a lot of fun, isn't it? <laughs> it is. It never gets old. This does never gets old. But, yeah, it was a good race. I was going to say, the car seemed to work great there. I mean, it seemed like that outside line was a hot lane there, but uh, you seem how figured a way with the make the inside work. Well, I knew him. Mean, he was better on the inside. And I was better on the out, so I tried taking a lane from him and, and hoping for the best because he was, he was strong on the inside for sure. 
I know uh, you uh, do a lot of touring around and stuff like that. What's the uh, 18 schedule, 2018 schedule for you? Really don't have one. We're just going to float and do a few races with the modified and, and float with this too. So we'll see what it brings. Well, always exciting. Always a pleasure to have you here. Who do you want to thank for uh, sponsors and crew on the car keeper up front running? Well, I just want to give a special thanks to Jeff Colville and Greg Colville, Greg's Auto Body, you know, Vance Auto Parts, and uh, Margatini Engines. Well, congratulations, and uh, like I said, we hope to see you back here real soon. Okay, thanks. Everybody, the Piranha, TJ Petrobowski there, winner of the SST Modified Feature. So now let's catch up with this guy here. This guy's had some uh, Yeah, but uh, right now there, it's uh, all looking pretty uh, pretty good for you today. Nice job there, Rick. Thanks. Yeah, last year was a rough one. We squeaked out a win, and uh, we spent some time on this thing again in the shop. You know what I mean? That's where the races are won, and I feel like being able to run with TJ. I got stuck on the bottom down here. I, I chose the bottom. There was a car that spun over here, and there was actually liquid on the track, and I kept trying to miss it, and I think trying to stay below it. I just made the car too tight and I couldn't get him. He was good on the top. And, uh, you know, I'll take second after last year, so I don't care. <laughs> I know you, uh, like I said, I know you got a bunch of uh, people to help help you out here. And I know you got usually got a couple sponsors on the side here that uh, maybe throw a couple bucks in and put a tire on once in a while. Yeah, my wife. <laughs> we got Bobby Shines, uh, Moonshine, Fast Jars, and Mason Car, or Mason, Fast Cars and Mason Jars. Uh, racing Electronics, they give me all my radio stuff. They're great to deal with. If you call down there, talk to Kevin Hughes, tell him I sent you. Troyer Race Cars, uh, you know, these, when you get them dialed in, these babies are easy to drive. And uh, I was having fun tonight. I was, I was just trying to bide my time. And uh, I don't know, I don't know what else to say. My <laughs> wallet pays for a lot of stuff, <laughs> just like everybody else's. And, and we're, we're still, yeah, thank, I got I to gotta thank, you know, my brother, Nate, uh, the Timmermans, my dad, my wife, uh, you know, everybody that helps out. When I'm working, some of them guys go over to the shop and, and, and work on stuff while I'm gone, and I appreciate that, and it helps me out tremendously. So it makes it when we can come to the racetrack and be this fast. Well, congratulations there, and uh, the way things are looking here, if uh, TJ's not around, I bet you we're going to talk to you with the checkered flag soon. Yeah, this, this thing's one bad beast piece right here. <laughs> Everybody, Ricky Knapp there, driver of the number 11 there, third can place finisher. Now we'll catch up with Alan there. Alan, boy, you were around some exciting stuff there. Uh, you know, I mean, did you check your blood pressure after that race or what? Oh, no, I, I mean, we, you know yourself, it's racing, it's modified, it's Perry. I mean, you're going to be close, you're going to be in, I mean, you got 24 cars on the first night. I mean, it's going to be close racing, I mean. We had our old tires on. We we're kind of doing the shoestring budget a little bit, so did what we had with the car. High lane, bottom lane. Uh, what was the what was the uh, where was the forty liking it the most? Anywhere it would come up off the corner. <laughs> I mean, my rock hard tires are junk. I mean, I was just trying to point it so to get off the corner. Get aimer, aimer, hope for hope and pray, right? <laughs> yep, basically. Who do you want to thank Al for uh, helping you get the car rolling for uh, 2018? Got to help thank mom and dad first. Obviously, dad works his ass off in the cars. Mom doesn't kill us. I mean, just beat his ass when he comes home at midnight. I mean, I got the Eagle Automotive, Barber's Automotive, Ed Gailey for doing the shocks, uh, grand, my grandmother for sponsoring us this year. And I think I, I still obviously respect the lens. I'm happy to be even a part of what it was with Leonard. And they still give contact and stuff, so I got to thank them too. Now, uh, what's the plan for uh, 2018? We're going to see you on a regular basis here, or are you going to go on tour? Well, we're going to try to be on the. We're trying to. We're putting more money into the part. We, yeah, sorry. We poured more of our money into the big mod. We're just kind of. We were nobody was racing. The big mods off for a couple of weeks. We we're just kind of cruising around with old tires, and we're going to try to run the ROC a little bit more. I mean, just trying. Well, it's always a pleasure to have you here, there, and great job here tonight. And uh, hopefully, we'll see you right back here soon. Thank you, sir. Okay, there's Alan Bookmiller there, driver of the number 40. Again, I want to th thank every one of you for coming out here and helping us support the uh, racing here at the Blacktop Bullring and showing your support of all of our uh, armed forces here on Memorial Day weekend. So enjoy your weekend there. Be safe, and we'll see your faces at the races next week here at the Blacktop Bullring.